This CAMP Photoshop tutorial is demonstrated in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Most or all of the techniques can be accomplished in previous versions of Photoshop. Welcome to CAMP Photoshop, the destination for new adventures and creativity. Learn more at CampPhotoshop.com. Now, Adobe Certified Expert and Head CAMP Counselor, Roger Ridpath. Welcome back. Welcome back to Camp Photoshop Tutorials. This is Tutorial 002, and it's a continuation of Tutorial 001. I want to do a spray paint graffiti effect on a textured wall. My inspiration is this textured train from an old TV show that I used to watch when I was a kid called Welcome Back, Cotter. So let's get started. First, if you want your workspace to look like my workspace, you need to go to Windows, Workspace, Default Workspace. Okay, we're now ready to start with our image, our base image that we're going to work with this time. And I'll open that up real quick for you. This is a textured wall we're going to be working with. But this wall isn't very interesting looking, so I want to put some lighting effects on this before we go in and do some spray painting on it. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate this layer. I'm going to zoom in here. Here we go. We're going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to drag this down to the layer icon here. It's going to create a duplicate. And let's zoom back out. So we want to render some lighting effects. What you want to do is go under Filter, go under Render, choose Lighting Effects. That's at the bottom one there at that list. And uh, brings up this great dialog here. There's all kinds of options here. By default, you're going to get something like this. And I wanted to show you while we're in here that you're not limited to this single option, but you also have some other options right here under this style menu. If you click on this, you're going to see that you have all these great presets for lighting effects that Adobe has already put in. Now we're not going to dig into all of these. I'm just going to pick a floodlight. And uh, that was a preset. And um, I just want to get a little bit of, a, of an effect of, a, of this wall having a little more interest to it. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. You can grab the edge of this and kind of twirl it around. I'm going to expand it here by grabbing one of the points here on the side. And uh, give this a little more interest. And then... It, we're really losing a lot of the detail of our textured wall. So I'm going to go over here to the intensity and I'm going to decrease that just a little bit just to, to not make it quite blow out all the details of our light. And then for the texture channel, I'm just going to pick one of the existing channels. These channels in this particular image are all about the same. You may want to review tutorial 001 for more information about these different channels. I'm just going to pick the red one to, to use as our texture. And I'm just going to leave all the other defaults here. And, and again, you can experiment with these mountainous highlights, etc. But we'll just go with the defaults for now. And I'm going to click OK. And Photoshop's going to do its work. And now, I think we have a little bit more interesting wall to work with. Now, we still have our original wall back here. So if we want to jump back a step, we still have that. Okay, I'm going to keep this fairly simple as far as spray painting on the wall. So again, I want to go over to my Layers palette, and I'm just going to click a new blank layer. There it is right there, Layer 1. Uh, if we double-click on the name, we'll change that to Spray Paint. And then I want to go over, and now I've got that layer selected. I want to go over and pick the Brush Tool. And I need to select a brush. And we've got a whole bunch of brushes in here. To get a good uh, spray paint effect, you want to pick one of these soft edged brushes. Let me just zoom in again just a little bit to see that the default, there's several default ones. You can tell that the soft ones have a little bit more of a soft edge around them. They, they actually are named soft round. I'm going to pick the 100 pixel soft round brush for this example. Also, you'll want to uh, select a color for your spray paint. I'm going to go ahead and use red, which I happen to already have in here. You could pick any color you want. You've got a lot of different choices here, but uh, I'm going to use the red that I already had. 
And I'm going to use my Wacom tablet. You can do this with a mouse. And I'm going to do a little spray paint of our old friend, Mr. Cotter. And uh, these Wacoms work great for this kind of stuff. But you can do this with your mouse if you like. Now, we've got our spray paint on here. So it looks pretty good. looks like some spray paint. It's not exactly in the middle of our spotlight. So what I want to do is uh, I'm just going to uh, click right on it and move it around and get it into the spot that I like. And again, uh, for, to do something like that, you might want to make sure that you do have this auto select layer checkbox checked. That will help you when you want to select an object, specific layer um, versus the background or, or something else or, or not automatically select anything. So let's zoom back out. Okay, so we have some nice spray paint on our wall, but we need to make this look a little more realistic, make it look like it belongs on this wall. So let's, uh, we, we need to create um, our displacement map, if you remember that from 001, and I'm going to kind of speed through this and refer you back to that tutorial, but let's hide, I'm going to hide these two new layers that we made. I'm going to go back to our original artwork. I'm going to go back to background. I'm going to go over to channels. I'm going to pick the red channel. I'm going to duplicate that channel. It's going to bring up the menu here. Again, all of this was in tutorial 001. And I'm going to make a new document. I select a new document. I'm going to call this my textured wall map. And I'm going to save that in a place that I remember. So the quick way to save this is I'm just going to click the close button here. And I'm going to say save. I'm going to save this textured map in a place that I remember and I'll just click the save button it's called textured map I'm gonna go back over to my channels I'm gonna make sure I've selected on the RGB I'm gonna go back over here to the layers tab let me just zoom in on that just to make sure you see that we're here on the channels I'm gonna jump over to layers I'm gonna go over here and turn these two layers back on those are the two that we made a moment ago let's zoom back out so you can see what we're doing and then I'm going to select my spray paint and I'm going to go to filters, distort, displace. I'm going to change this to 20 since this is a little bit higher resolution image. I'm going to change our displacement distance here to 20 pixels. I'm going to leave the others in their default of stretch to fit and wrap around edges. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to find my textured map.psd that I just saved a moment ago. And Photoshop did its magic. You can see we've got some nice edges here. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see that. Look at these great edges on here. This, this is really looking good. Very happy with this. Zoom back out. Okay, let's do the final step to make this look like it's really spray painted on this wall. Again, this is repeated from tutorial 001. What we want to do is select our spray paint layer. We want to change our blend mode to multiply because that seems to work best. And this looks great. It really looks like somebody came right up and spray painted on this wall. Just zoom in just a little bit for you to see that. Look at this great texture on the wall. It, it, it really turned out nice. Raj, that was easy. You've reached the end of this camping trip. Hike over to CampPhotoshop.com, where visitors can sign up for freebies and more video tutorials by Adobe Certified Expert and Camp Counselor, Roger Redpath.